hello so I had the lighting set up in the lounge the only place in the house that's got a white wall so I thought while it was set up I'd do a collective haul okay lots to get through so let's get going so this first item is this sheepskin jacket which I got from little by little which you can find on ASOS but they have their own site too I first saw it being worn by one of the ASOS stylists and I thought I need that in my life I think it was about 40-ish pounds. Um, it's kind of got a homemade feel about it. Um, it's got quite big sleeves, so it's got that 80s feel, which I like at the moment. Um, it's actually not hugely thick, so you can still wear it in spring, summer. So there's that. I'll put a picture up so you can see what it looks like on. First Zara item is, oh, it's inside out. That's not very really organised of me, is it? Um, it's just a, a very simple black dress in kind of just a strappy top material. It's slightly ribbed. Um, I think you'd call it a swing dress because it slightly kicks out and it's got an amount of material that will allow for movement. So that's just a really simple basic. I think that was about a tenner. It was in euros, so I wasn't quite sure how much in pounds that was. Um, another Zara purchase was this really cute mixed knit jumper you see it's got all different colours in it there you go and the best part is the back so you've got this open back thing so you can wear a bikini underneath if you need to have some sort of support um, but if you've got those lovely small uppity boobs that don't sag then you can go braless and show off your newly tanned back so that's cute. I really wanted some kind of light coloured jeans for summer, um, still fitted, still skinny um, so also got these jeans from Zara. Really like the colour, that kind of light blue, they're really comfortable but unfortunately with most stretchy jeans they do start to sag in the crotch and bum area so just be wary of that if you're thinking of purchasing them but colour wise and style wise I really like those. Aldo Shoes had a deal on where you can get um, three shades for I think £16 so I got um, these wooden effect ones, uh, these colourful mirrored ones, uh, these cat eye style ones and then I like these as well so I just forked out the extra money to get another pair as well so I think that's quite a bargain and if you're like me you will sit on your glasses lose them bury them in the sand on the beach something like that so there's no point spending lots of money get yourself a few options and if you lose them you're not going to be too devastated another Zara item and you'll see this in the denim lookbook which will either already be out when this goes out or it will be about to and it's just a very cute kind of distressed denim dress um dungaree dress so comfy just so easy to throw on when you're on holiday or just put, put over your t-shirt or your bikini or whatever and nice soft denim as well so super comfortable and cute um another denim piece sorry all these are all inside out because i've been wearing them um is this jumpsuit from asos another purchase that happened because i follow I think it's ASOS stylist Rachel and she her style is just like my ideal basically and I saw her rocking this um, jumpsuit and I just had to have it. Unfortunately the reality is I don't look as cool as she does in it um, but it's still a fun piece. Um, it fits the body really nice, nice and snug and you can go without a bra because it's so form fitting. So that's nice and it's obviously doing the um, the bootleg thing which is obviously a proper trend right now. Everyone's kind of attempting at least to do a bit of bootleg or a bit of flair. I have quite an impressive collection of East Pack bags but the ones I have are either patterned or really bright coloured so I wanted a neutral bag just so it can go with everything. So I got this grey one and it's got nice kind of brown leather detailing really comfortable, get lots of stuff in there, it's got a compartment in there if you want to put anything secure in there like your laptop. So there's that, 
And obviously East Pack have so many styles, so if you don't like this one, you are bound to find one on the site that ticks all the boxes for you. Number seven have been very generous to me lately and been sending me lots of products to try. And I've been trying their Early Defence uh, collection, which only recently launched. And this is kind of to prevent ageing. So it's if you're at that age, within the age bracket, where you should be starting to think about, you know, fine lines, wrinkles, sun damage, all that sort of stuff, then this is the good a good range to kind of start you off with your skincare regime. Um, I've been using the night creams and the day creams as well as the serum and so far loving it. It's making my feel skin feel really nice. Um, just really nice products. Um, obviously not cheap but your skin's very important so maybe this is one area where it is alright to spend a bit more. The Stay Perfect foundation with medium coverage. I got my skin match so they tested so I could find exactly the right shade for me or the closest one they have in their range and I am deeply ivory which was surprising because I would never think I am that fair skin but it does seem to be correct so I'm looking forward to trying that and they also have sent me some lipsticks which are apparently perfect for my skin shade so there's this one That one, that looks really nice, doesn't it? This one, lovely colours. Um, I haven't tried them out, out yet. They literally arrived about half an hour ago, so we'll look forward to trying them and I'll be posting that on my blog. Now, I did a car boot sale this weekend because I need some money. I'd like to go on holiday and yeah, work isn't very fruitful in the money department. So I held a car boot sale you know, made a bit of money, got rid of some clutter, but of course I came away with something as well. I found these two records, Michael Jackson Thriller and The Best of Blondie, £2.50. So, you know, if you're into records and things like that, it, car boots are a great place to go. Obviously there's a risk that they might not work or be, will be damaged, but if you are simply interested in the artwork perhaps, or just having genuinely old records, then great place to find little gems like these. If you give me one second, I'll just grab the final bit, left it upstairs. Found these Zara booties in the sale. I think they're about 25 pounds. I love the gold buckles, the quilting, they're just really a classic boot which I think I'll be wearing for years and you know you can wear them in winter with your jeans and your trousers and things like that but I think they'll look quite cute with your summer dresses like for festivals and things so they were a good little purchase. Now if you watch my festival lookbooks you will have seen um, a rattan boa dress I think, yeah. But I also got this little blue kind of silky dress as well. I've got to say for how much it was, I was a little disappointed with it when it arrived because it's very flimsy. It looks quite homemade. Um, there's not much to it and I think for the amount I've spent, you don't get much for your money. Um, but the lookbooks are so beautiful. The women are so aspirational in terms of the way they look. Um, that I got sucked in and I'm still getting sucked in because I bought a few more things this week as well. But if you love the piece then fair dues, sometimes it's worth paying that bit of extra money. But in terms of, you know, time and material, I think it is a little bit overpriced. But that said, they are making stuff that I want to buy so they are doing a lot right. I just wanted to warn you in case you are umming and ahhing about whether it is worth the money and I would say, you know, be a bit aware. Uh, so there's that, I'll post a picture up of that. I do love how vibrant that blue is though. I always like this colour with blondes, I think it's kind of quite a good combo. So, um, I, once I've got some new Rat and Burr things through, I will tell you what I think about them and see if I'm more impressed with the quality of those. Maybe this is just a one-off piece because it is just a flimsy dress. There's only so much you can do with that. Um, yeah, so that's some of the purchases I've made recently. 
Comment below if you like watching hauls, if you'd like more, or whether you seek other things from my channel. Obviously, I just want to make content that you enjoy watching and get something out of. So just let me know what you'd like to see more of, and I'll, I'll try and deliver that. Hope you are having a lovely summer so far. Thanks for all the support and all the comments you do post, um, and lots of love.